All right, folks, welcome to the Memphis, Tennessee edition of what the hell does my hotel room smell like? Um, cigarettes and Fig Newtons. Well, good morning. We are in Williamsburg, Virginia, which was our final destination. We've been here for a couple of days uh, doing all kinds of fun stuff with the fam. Um, we wanted to catch up on some of the places that we've been and, and talk about them. So let's talk about Memphis. So Memphis, what are your what was your thoughts on Memphis? Oh, I loved it. Um, I loved it in the sense that there was a lot of history to go check out. Um, I mean, if you're into R&B music, if you're into Elvis. So the first day that we got in, we went over to a brewery called Metalsome, and they had darn good beers. It was another one of those proper breweries in an industrial park. Your thoughts? Yeah, good beers. And that was pretty much it for the first day. The second day we got up, where did we go first? We walked around the Stax Museum. It was closed because we were there kind of early and we just took Gracie for a walk around. And if you're you're not familiar with the Stax recording label, trust me, you're familiar with the Stax recording label. They did a lot of 60s Memphis Soul stuff, Otis Redding, Wilson Pickett. We just finished walking through Mud Island Park. Really, really cool park. It has where the big Memphis sign is, so we took our picture in front of that. Um, but there's also, like, they have a model of the Mississippi River um, from north to south. So every step you take is one mile, right? It was just so cool. And then it ended up, it spilled out into what was, I guess, supposed to be a delta, and then into the Gulf, which was this big chunk of water. There was some kids swimming in it, although you're not supposed to swim in it. Um, you can but stick they were... your feet in it. It said you can stick your feet into it to dip, yeah. but you're not supposed to swim. You know, sometimes people don't pay any attention to that stuff. Right. So these kids were swimming in it, but it was just really, really cool. And it was a chance to get Gracie out and let her walk around a little bit. And we just got back in the truck and she's just sucking up the air conditioning. <laughs> Gracie, do you need a little air conditioning? She's like, yeah, just peace. A little air conditioning? Hog in the vent. I just so, yeah. can't figure out. I get back in the car and my face is flushed red. Um, I'm dripping sweat, wiping sweat out of my eyes. And these people don't even look like, they just look like it's a walk in a park. Because so, y'all ain't used to the climate down I, here. I imagine there is some acclimatization that goes on. Is that a yeah. word? Is that a word? Acclimatization? acclimatization? Yeah. Okay, yeah, it can be a okay. word. And then we, where did we wind up? The Lorraine Hotel. It was actually the hotel where Martin Luther King was assassinated. And it's been turned into a museum, but it's it's still very, it feels very intimate. You know, they have a big reef up where, you know, on the balcony where he was shot. And It was a pretty emotional moment for me. Um, I think we're in a time uh, in our country where things are changing. And a lot of the things that that Martin Luther King Jr. fought for are being dissolved away. So to be there in the spot where where he was killed was it, it was an emotional thing. It was pretty powerful. Yeah. So after that, we went over to, it was getting kind of hot, it was getting, you know, around one. So we decided to go to a brewery. We found this one called High Cotton, and their beers were really good. One of the best things about it was, it was like two blocks away from uh, Sun Recording. Uh, so we went down to the Sun Recording office. And took pictures. And took pictures First there. Posed. So on the way down there, there was this little uh, tourist store to buy, you know. Hey, Tony Tao. You don't want Elvis jammies? And it had all kinds of ridiculous Elvis garb. Oh, like true and just <laughs> Elvis stuff. There was like Elvis gnomes yeah. <laughs> in it. <laughs> and then we wound up at another brewery that was on the recommendation of the guy at High Cotton. At High Cotton. 
It's where we got the violet from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory beer. You drink it, the first thing you get is the key lime. Because it kind of like takes your tongue and goes, you know. <laughs> key lime hits you, curls your tongue. And then coconut, coconut finishes it. You know, met some interesting people in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you always meet interesting people when you go into a brewery, and you know, people are there to tell stories and talk to each other. Gracie had a good time in that one. So, the next day, on the road to get to Nashville, mm -hmm. and Nashville, you need to step up your dog-friendly friendly. game. You are crazy, dog. Get it yourself.